I'm going to show you my uh, hand tech program. The kit I bought came with a, uh, a bunch of leads, a hand tech scope, and had an amp clamp that came with it. Less than 150 bucks. I see these same scopes, uh, hand tech 10008 eBay, for you know less than 100 bucks. But anyway, here's my hand tech software right here. I don't have my scope hooked up, but I want to show you why I like this for automotive. Um, just to show you guys, hopefully you can see this, but the reason I like it so much is um, you can do a lot of things with an oscilloscope. You can capture uh, things that you can't capture with a regular voltmeter. A uh, regular multimeter doesn't have the speeds capable of capturing a signal that's going super, super fast. So basically oscilloscope's kind of like a, a voltmeter on steroids. But this Handtech software, they have a, they have some so on the software. They have a section that says uh, up here where I'm going up top here. It says vehicle. You click on vehicle, and you can go to something called diagnosis setup. And I'm hoping you can see this, but on here this says this is um, some things you can use to help you troubleshoot uh, your car, and it has some kind of like uh, preset parameters it helps you uh, like this one this one here is it says ignition this one says sensors this is bus diagnosis that's talking about like your network which uh, that's real handy engine uh, startup and charge and this one says generator there's a lot of different things you can look look at this stuff and they have them over here too laid out uh, let me click on ignition and click OK. Now here they have some setups for primary ignition voltage, primary ignition current, primary ignition voltage and current, uh, primary ignition and crankshaft sensor, uh, more prime. All these are thing are certain setups you can do. Um, so let me just show you. I'll just pick one, and you can see this right here is an ignition pattern. Or like spark spark plugs and whatnot, firing event kind of shows you what it should look like, but it already sets it up for you. Uh, like right here, this this is the channel one. It set it up. It set it on a 40 volt range, a one millisecond time division. It's showing the tools set up on a 20 to one attenuator. So when you click right here, um, these are these are different probes you can use. Um, and it automatically sets it up on the attenuator probe, which is good because anytime you're you're checking a coil, um, there's a chance for voltage spike, and you want to have a 20 to 1 attenuator hooked in line on, with your scope to protect your scope and whatnot. Um, but this isn't necessary. I mean, you can set this up just as easily if you know know what you're wanting to. But I like this because it's just a quick. You know, you just, it's already done for you. Vehicle diagnosis set up. Let's go back, to, let's go to sensors. Um, here we have accelerator pedal sensor, ABS sensor, more ABS airflow. That's for like mass airflow sensors. Uh, camshaft position sensors. Uh, uh, let's see what else we got here. There's a lot. Crankshaft position sensors, different types, inductive, uh, hall effect types. Uh, you know, distributor pickups. Uh, these are oxygen sensors, NOx sensors. Um, this is MAP sensor, throttle position sensor, Hall effect speed sensors, and throttle po throttle position, throttle pedal position switch. So they they got a lot of a lot of information. Let me show let me show you a. Uh, a digital would be like a square pattern. Analog would be like a oscillating kind of pattern. But let me show you what this ABS digital sen speed sensor looks like. See how this, this kind of shows you like what kind of sets it up for you already. This is like a two, millim two millisecond square, two volts per division, using a regular probe. There's two channel setup. So, uh, 
I don't know how well we can see that, but uh, hopefully, hopefully my camera's picking this up. But um, yeah, so I mean, it, it has some pre preset parameters for for testing automotive stuff, which I like. I think it's pretty neat. Um, let me see some more. Go back here, diagnosis. Let's go back to the sensors. Well, let's look. Actually, let's look at the network. See, this is CAN bus data. More CAN bus. CAN bus. LIN bus. So they. I mean, it has some interesting stuff. Let's go check out the CAN bus data view. So it's showing, setting it up at. You know, it just sets it up for you, gets it ready. So that's pretty handy. Uh, so I mean you can see I mean this is a it's got some neat neat little things on it for engine let's see what it says we got diesel glow plugs electronic fuel pump carbon canister solenoid valve exhaust gas recircul recirculation valve or EGR solenoid uh, single point injector test let's look at that as you can see, here's an in injector, what it should look like, or sort of. Uh, down here it says channel 1, 20 to 1 adapter. Same thing, injector has a coil on it, so you want to use this 20 to 1. It's a good idea. But it sets up the parameter for you. It's got it on 100 volts per division and one, uh, one I don't know if that's millis yeah, millisecond. Uh, so, yeah, it's a pretty handy little tool, you know, it sets it up for you, which I like. Let's check out the uh, starting, start up and charge. Oh yeah, here is a, uh, a test that's r really handy to use. You can use, it's called a relative compression test. They have them set up for, uh, they say petrol or gasoline engine and, and a diesel. Uh, relative compression is just... Uh, Basically, you hook up an amp clamp, and anytime you crank your engine over, and you see how much it takes for the starter, it's basically how hard your starter has to work to turn your engine over. If you have equal compression in all the cylinders, the starter should be equally hard to uh, move it. You know, but if for one reason, for one simple, you know, for reason where you don't have any compression in a cylinder, well, it takes it's easier to turn that one over so you you know so you can see it you can actually see your starter you know working so it's a handy test it's actually faster than a a standard compression test where you use a you got to take the plugs out and screw in a gauge this one's real fast you just hook it up over the starter cable real quick there's there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do that but you know if i wanted to do it here's you know it sets it up for you pretty handy like this is saying right here, I need a 600 amp current clamp on channel one, and it's set right here. It's set to one one kilo amps scale, and tw and 200 uh, milliseconds time division. So I mean that's just handy. Like the probe sets up, it just sets it up real quick for you. So it's it's handy. It's already built in. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal because you can set it up yourself. But I mean, it, it's a it's a handy feature. I think. So, I mean, I think this is a pretty handy little scope. Okay, I, I like this part where it has a uh, vehicle and for vehicle diagnosis, I think that's pretty handy. But other than that, uh, you know, you, you can turn on all your channels here, real easy, real simple to use. There's eight channels here. I can pick a bunch of channels and uh, I can change the time base real easy. Um, I can set my trigger mode from the, from the edge. Uh, the trigger sweep, I can set it from auto, normal, single. Uh, trigger source, I can set the trigger for whatever, all the channels. Trigger slope, I can go from positive or change it to negative. Uh, so it's got a lot, I mean, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about this scope, but uh, for basics for what I use it for, simple automotive testing, it's uh it's pretty basic. I'm sure there are a lot of features on here I don't know about, but uh, I've been able to capture a couple waveforms and uh, pretty simply. I think it's a pretty easy, easy scope to use. 
and uh, there are better scopes out there that you know cost a whole lot more that have the same or better automotive features like a pico scope but you know a pico scope you're, you're going to pay like you know anywhere from a thousand to three thousand bucks where this thing only costs about a hundred bucks so i mean you do get what you pay for but I think this is a, it's a pretty neat little tool. Some people may disagree. Uh, of course, there are better scopes out there than a Pico scope. I mean, you can buy a oscilloscope that costs 20 grand if you want to. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I think that's a handy little feature. The vehicle diagnosis setup, I think, is pretty neat. Pretty handy thing to have. And that's all I'm going to discuss on this video. Maybe in the future, I'll show you guys some actual waveforms outside on checking a vehicle. But for this, uh, I think that's pretty much what I, what I wanted to show you guys was this vehicle diagnosis modes where you can look at a lot of sensors and set it up. That's pretty handy. So that's all I'm going to go over today.